trying to finish up uh, peanut harvest today. We're still a couple of days out, but uh, we're down to that last couple of hundred acres. And so uh, feeling pretty good today. Conditions are good today. We, overall, we've had a pretty good harvest. It's been a, uh, with peanut harvest, it's always slow. Uh, and it's not been as slow as some years, but it's still pretty slow. There's very little crop in the field at this point. Everybody's got most of the crop out. There you see a few scattered fields here and there, but for the most part, I think everybody's gonna get close to being finished up by the time this rain hits. Been a, like I said, been a, been a good harvest. We've been really, really blessed. The way peanut harvest starts, uh, sometime in September, middle to the end of September, uh, we go to start checking maturity on the, on the peanuts. You walk out here in the field at that point and it's solid green. It's a, it's a pretty green carpet. When we decide that the maturity's right, we start digging. At that point, we have to let it set for anywhere from five to 10 days, depending on the weather, uh, for those vines and the peanuts themselves to dry out. At that point, we'll start running combines through the field like you see behind us. Uh, those combines pick up those vines and nuts and they use spring fingers to separate those uh, peanuts in shell off the vine and they get blown up in those baskets, we dump them in a duck cart and they get eventually put into a, a semi-trailer. Our peanuts go to Pocahontas first. They eventually get taken to uh, Jonesboro to be shelled. These peanuts will be shelled by Delta Peanut Company. And uh, ours are high layet peanuts, which is a special uh, longer shelf life variety peanut. And those peanuts are used in peanut butter in your candies. Our peanuts, uh, M&M Mars buys some uh, for a certain size to go in peanut M&Ms. And so if you eat peanut M&Ms, there's a chance that you're eating peanuts growing right here in Arkansas.